and welcome to this new video tutorial of machine to do multi vendor marketplace buy sell chart plugin and uh, using this plugin uh, the uh, multi vendor marketplace store admin would be able to integrate the live chat system and uh, basically this allows the customers to receive instant replies from the uh, respective vendors and uh, each of the vendor can uh, make instant messaging with multiple customers at once and all of the chat conversations are basically saved or stored in the chat history section and uh, apart from that the customers will find uh, the chat window to uh, connect with the respective product seller on the product page itself and uh, the vendors uh, will then be able to make a reply to the customers thereafter under their own account panel so uh, the vendors have it on their account panel and the customers can uh, find it on the uh, product pages apart from that a new customer can also or a new user can also register himself within the chat window itself to start a conversation with the uh, product uh, uh, vendor so uh, let me take you further to the uh, storefront first for the multi vendor marketplace uh, uh, store and uh, let's see how the customers can uh, basically chat with the uh, respective vendors of the product so right now you can see that I've not logged into any of the accounts right now so on this uh, product page that's the formal short if I scroll down here you can see at the end that's the seller bar chat uh, window so uh, the uh, user just needs to tap that up and then brings up the uh, section to uh, log into the account or uh, to create a new one so if you already have an email address and password and you're a registered customer then you can uh, enter those details otherwise to create a new user uh, or a new uh, or to become a new customer within this web store you can enter your email address and uh, thereafter you'll be able to uh, create an account as well so i'll just set my uh, password so actually right now what i'm doing is i'm uh, basically creating a new account uh, so i'm a guest i've come to this uh, product page and now i, I want to ask some questions to this particular vendor so uh, i'll just uh, enter these details and tap here on the login button all right all right but obviously uh it won't uh it, it's saying invalid because i need to uh, set up my new account so for that i'll just uh, cross that out and i'll tap here on the new user now we can set up uh, the details the email address and the password that we want to set up for your account and uh, thereafter we'll be tapping here on the submit button now let's see what uh, happens uh, thereafter so basically the uh, user would be converted into the customer and would be now able to have chat directly with the particular product uh, uh, vendor so you can see that we have actually logged in let me cross this out and uh, let me uh, enter some data here hello vendor need some rebate on purchasing multiple products so this is just a demonstration all right I've just missed that out okay now uh, now uh, as I'm a uh, customer now for this uh, multi vendor marketplace uh, so I just tap here on the start chart uh, button so right now you can see that uh, the seller is offline because uh, the seller is has not logged into his account uh, panel there so that's why it's showing a uh, seller is offline so we've uh, sent uh, one message to the uh, seller here and uh, now what i'll be doing is i'll just enter one more uh, uh what we say as uh, text uh, i'll just uh, send in some uh, more uh, info so uh, i'll just type in test here and tap enter and now uh, the customers can also attach any of the attachments as well they can send it out apart from that the customers can also uh, tap on the emojis to add the emojis so on the bottom right hand corner you can see that we have the emojis here so it's not visible but uh, let me show you that so here you can see that we have this particular emoji and if i tap on that we get uh, a lot of emojis here and you can uh, choose any one of them and you can send that out to the respective uh, seller as you can see right now and uh, you can see that i've also uh, sent one image uh, to the uh, seller to uh, add the attachment you just need to tap here on this uh, pen icon that you can see 
and then you can choose your image that you want to send out to the uh, particular seller and that would be uploaded here and then would be sent out to the respective seller as we can see right now apart from that uh, the uh, customer can tap here and can update his uh, profile uh, image by tapping here on this particular icon he can upload the images as required apart from that he can mute the uh, notifications if we tap here on the uh, down arrow from here the customer can set himself as online busy or offline so if I choose uh, busy you can see the uh, icon is turned to the red one to get back online we'll just tap here and the icon would then again change to the green as you can see apart from that the uh, customers can also uh, check the uh, conversation that they have done you can tap here on the forever to check the uh, con all of the conversation that has been saved from the starting up to the date that you want or the up to the current date apart from that you can also view the uh, data or the chat data for the last seven days or within the last 24 hours as well so you can tap that up to uh, uh, get the details there and uh, here we also have the settings option wherein uh, the uh, customer can end the chat or can set up his uh, profile settings so if i tap here on the profile settings it again takes you to uh, the upload section to upload your profile image and uh, this icon on the top right hand corner minimizes the chat window if i tap here on this uh, chat window to again come up and these three uh, dots to the right hand corner top uh, side that you see brings up these uh, configuration settings that we just talked about now let's go to the vendors and let's see what uh, different options are there and uh, the messages here whether they have uh, reached that particular uh, seller or not and then we'll be uh, doing the same we'll be uh, making a reply back to this particular customer so for that let me take you to the vendor front end now so i'll be logging into the uh, vendor account i've entered my email password now uh, as soon as uh, the uh, vendor is logged into his account panel as you can see right now we have been logged into our account panel so here you can see this icon on the top right hand uh, just uh, next to the uh, cart icon if i scroll down it would uh, still be there only at the top so this is a seller if i tap on that that brings up uh, the complete list of uh, buyers that are currently online and I want to chat with this particular vendor so here you can see this is my email address uh, the one that I use to uh, interact with uh, this particular vendor uh, vendors uh, from the vendors product so if you remember so this is the chat window so I, as a customer right now I'm online and now let's go back to the seller so the same functionality for the sellers as well they can upload the images they can also uh, add uh, the uh, attachments uh, they can mute uh, the notifications, they can set up uh, or they can end the chat, they can upload their profile picture by tapping on the profile setting uh, option and uh, even they can cross it out to just let it go there. Uh, apart from that, uh, tapping the down arrow brings up the status that's online, busy or offline. So right now, uh, let me take you back to the customer and let's type in hello. So right now it won't uh, show that the seller is offline and you can see the uh, the sound there for the notification itself so if we come here uh, you can see right now this is a kind of a highlighted one so as to uh, let know of uh, let know the seller uh, that he has received uh, a new message from this particular customer so if uh, the seller taps it up and that brings up all the details uh, or the uh, chat uh, that has been sent out uh, by that particular customer and uh, the seller can uh, basically chat with multiple customers at a time so if you can see here right now uh, let me cross it out so we have uh, Peter Doe he's offline right now and we have this other uh, customer and here you can see the emojis that the customer had uh, sent out the images and the hello world so from here the vendor can uh, reply back to the customer uh, yes, I can assist you with the same. So I've just sent this out. Now let's come to the customer. And you can see that uh, our message has been delivered to this particular customer. And uh, I can also attach uh, any of the attachments there. So uh, for example, if I want to add an attachment, let me choose this one and tap on the open button. 
so this is a file that I'm trying to upload right now it's a pptx uh, file so you can see that this particular file also apart from the images you can also uh, upload a, a file with this extension as well and um, the after now let's go back to the customer window so here you can see that uh, now the customer can download this uh, particular file by tapping here and you can see that the download has started now for the particular file uh, that the customer has just uh, downloaded from the chat itself now uh, let's go back to the sellers end and uh, rest of the things I've already told you if we tap here on the timer then the uh, window would also be able to uh, basically filter the uh, chat messages according to the last 24 hours 7 days or forever tapping here on the minus icon on the top right hand corner of this particular window would minimize the chat window uh, you can cross it out by tapping the X button to open the chat window once again tap here uh, that's the window and the windows can also uh, search for the customers as well if uh, they want to see uh, if they are having a lot of customers here from whom uh, he's getting messages then he can type in the name of that customer to pull up his chat window and then can start again chat chatting with that particular customer and uh, the sales would also be able to send out the uh, emojis and i've just tapped here on the emoji icon there and uh, i've added two emojis and let me tap enter so you can see right now the emojis has have been sent out to this particular customer now let's go back to the customer so here you can see the emojis sent out by the uh, seller to this particular customer a uh, few months earlier you saw that uh, i just tapped there on this particular screen for the vendor account i tapped here on the allow notifications button so whenever any notification comes uh, the seller would then be uh, let uh, know of the same so let me type in a uh, message you heard that particular sound we can mute that out uh, by uh, basically by tapping I'll just show you that how we can do that so let me open the chat window once again and let's go back to the uh, sellers account here and uh, here you can see that a new message has been arrived so uh, basically to mute uh, the uh, a notification sound the seller can tap here and uh, that way the uh, notification uh, sound would be uh, muted out and whenever the uh, vendor the customer receives uh, this particular message uh, from uh, in between then uh, they'll be able to see this kind of a particular pop-up if you have allowed the uh, uh, allowed the notifications in the browser that we were just talking about and it actually is like like this do you want to show notification so you need to choose that as allow for uh, receiving it as a pop-up and lastly let me show you how the uh, windows would be able to block the uh, users from uh, getting or reaching back to him he can tap here on the block uh, icon that you can see so if i tap here on the block i need to enter the reason why i'm uh, trying to block this i can tap as uh, sp -A -M -M -A -R, spammer and i'll just tap here on the block uh, button and that would basically block this particular uh, customer from uh, sending me the uh, uh, chat uh, so if I tap here all right so now you can see that it's locked having a red uh, lock icon there now let's uh, see what happens on the customer and now you can see that on the customer end uh, the seller is online but uh, the customer can see that you have been blocked by the seller so if I tap here again so I've unblocked let's go to the customer all right now the customer can again reach out to the uh, respective seller there and here we have this particular message now that after uh, the unlock has been received and uh, also this particular uh, chat plugin uh, works uh, for your mobile as well so uh, the customers can enjoy uh, reaching out to the vendors using the mobile application itself as you can see here from the product pages they can access the chat window and can directly chat with the products vendor and uh, now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see what different options are there how the admin can check the uh, conversations and the other sections like how he can check the uh, block uh, customer list or the blocked customer list so for that I'll just enter 
my username and password for my multi vendor marketplace uh, store and after login we'll just navigate to the uh, left hand side panel and here we'll tap on the marketplace management and here we have the buyer seller chat we have the option to view the chat history and the blocked customer list as well so i'll just open them up in uh, two new windows here for the time being and apart from that let me show you the initial configurations required for this uh, plugin to work so for that we'll navigate through stores and then configuration so we'll just wait uh, till the configuration page comes up in the meantime it's the chat history grid here as you can see here and here the admin can find the uh, data of the chat between the vendors and the uh, customers so here is my uh, name and here is uh, hello vendor need some rebates on purchasing multiple products and the seller column is uh, having these uh, the receiver is the sellers and the senders are the customers here and along with the message and uh, the date on which uh, the data has been sent out uh, respectively and uh, let's go to the blocked customer list and here the admin can see the blocked customer list or uh, uh, he can see uh, who has blocked and then the customer email which has been blocked along with the customer name and the reason of block so uh, let me go to uh, uh, let me block this customer from the front end here so I'll just cross it out I'll tap here I'll tap here on the block I'll type spammer and I'll hit the uh, block but button thereafter now if I go to the front end the customer has been blocked by the seller now let's go back to the uh, back end and let me refresh this particular page once again and now we'll be able to see the data there so you can see that uh, blocked by the name of the seller customers email address the name of the customer and the reason of blocking this particular customer so that was it and uh, now let me take you to the configuration page so here on the configuration page under the web cool block just tap here in the buyer seller chat uh, sub menu option and that would bring up the configuration settings for this particular uh, uh, marketplace uh, buyer seller chat so here you will be setting up your host name or the uh, local host for your uh, local server you will be setting up your port number and uh, you'll be starting your server before making use of this plugin so right now it's already started i can tap in the stop server let me show you how it uh, appears thereafter so it's refreshing okay so we can tap here on the start server to start the server we can set up the chat uh, name so we have set here as seller by our chat and uh, that is displayed here at the top and uh, how many maximum allowed size for the uh, attachment so you can enter a numeric value uh, that would be in uh, megabytes uh, for the maximum allowed size for the attachments you can choose to have a hypertext transfer protocol uh, system by choosing a yes otherwise uh, select no you can also uh, upload your server private key the uh, server certificate file and the server CA bundle file so uh, you will be able to get these from your host uh, provider and uh, your file name would be as uh, server.key similarly for uh, the server.crt and server.ca bundle and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button so let me tap here on the start server button now it will refresh it will save the settings and our server is on the go so well, that was much about the merchant to do multi vendor marketplace by seller chat plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise the ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.